We have passed through day 1, day 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of the hair growth and length retention challenge this hair growth lasts for 90 days and today is day 12. if you're new here please join the hair growth challenge catch up with what we've been doing so far links are in the description box okay so today is the day 12 like i mentioned earlier and we're going to be doing full moisture routine right now i'm talking about using the tea spray uh the hair growth oil the leave-in conditioner and yeah covering our hair with the hair bonnet before heading to bed for the people that are new here we are going to be using the tea spray and the hair growth oil three to five times in a week we're only going to be applying these products only on the scalp massage very well and wrap your hair go about your day then the days that your hair is uh, very very dry you are going to be using the tea spray hair growth butter leave-in conditioner and hair growth oil twice in a week only okay you can catch up um with the first day the second day third and fourth day the links are in the description box so that you understand fully what i'm talking about and while at it please turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any upload whenever i drop one here on youtube so right now i'm sprinkling the tea spray which is also known as the hair mist all over my scalp all over the hair the essence of using this tea spray which is made of ayurvedic herbs is to strengthen your hair it also helps to promote hair growth this tea spray is made of fenugreek um clove moringa powder and so on okay so these are known as indian hair growth secrets especially fenugreek if you find your tea spray or any ayurvedic product that you make smelling awful please make use of fragrance it will help it to you know smell good and you will be able to leave it in your hair you don't need to rinse it out or wash it off all the time so when you're done sprinkling this tea spray all over your scalp and your hair make sure to massage massaging really helps with uh, improving the blood circulation all over your scalp which promotes hair growth but when you do not massage your scalp it will slow down the entire process you can also do the inversion method inversion method is literally bending over and massaging your scalp and uh, yeah if you're pregnant or if you have any health issue here please seek the face of your doctor before doing the inversion method of massaging your scalp so when i'm done the next thing is to apply the moisturizing leave-in conditioner which leads to one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people make after using the tea spray and the mistake is that majority of people like literally 90 to 95 percent of people leave their hair like that after using the tea spray your hair is going to break if you do that so immediately you are done using the tea spray all over your scalp and hair please go in with a moisturizing leave-in conditioner that will enable your tea spray work properly ayurvedic herbs help to grow hair okay but if you use them in the wrong way it will lead to hair breakage that's why majority of people experience hair breakage when they are using hair sprays or when they are using um hair mask they don't go in with the moisturizer or with the hair growth butter and hair growth oil they just leave their hair like that and expect the ayurvedic herbs to perform its magic but it's not going to work that way okay so make use of moisturizing leave-in conditioners head over to the market supermarkets or wherever you buy your products get a moisturizing leave-in conditioner that has ingredients such as uh humectants that is the water it ha uh, water has to be one of the ingredients that is being used to make the moisturizing leave-in conditioner you can also seek for aloe vera as part of the ingredients and uh, so on you know all these moisturizing agents when you're done using the uh, moisturizing leave-in conditioner you can use your hair growth butter we are currently out of hair growth butter that's why you are not seeing me using the hair growth butter so stay tuned i'm going to create a video of how to formulate hair growth butter but since we don't have the hair growth butter in our possession we are going to move in with the hair growth oil to use it for sealing the entire moisture we have applied so far 
if your hair is dry and the next thing you feel like doing is using uh, hair growth oil directly you're only wasting your time okay your hair will just be greasy but not be moisturized so please use the tea spray first followed by the leave-in conditioner followed by a hair growth butter if you don't have hair growth butter use the hair growth oil you'll still get a similar result the only thing is that the hair growth butter helps with thickening your hair so uh, that's why i said that we are going to formulate hair growth butter very soon and i will upload a video for you guys to see so this hair growth oil is going to help to seal in moisture so that the moisture we sprayed in uh, and applied which is the leave-in conditioner will not escape so this is going to last for about three to four days before we'll use the tea spray on the hair again and the leave-in conditioner you see that's why i said earlier that we're to use the moisturizing leave-in conditioner tea spray uh we're to do it uh, two to three times in a week okay it all depends on your hair porosity if you have high porosity i believe you can do this three times in a, in a week because um high porosity tends to open a lot that the hair shafts tends to open a lot and moisture escapes but low porosity doesn't really um release moisture that fast compared to high porosity so it all depends on your hair porosity and yeah make your research and know the kind of hair porosity you have you can also let me know if you want a video of how to identify your hair porosity so after applying this hair growth oil all over the hair next step is to use it on the scalp massage very well like i said please one of my favorite youtubers which is coily proverbs in her recent videos she said that um the indians apart from uh, the ayurvedic herbs they use in promoting hair growth and uh, preventing hair breakage they also do scalp massage literally every day every single day they massage their scalp that that is what even helping strengthening their hair and thickening their hair which is true because i browse about this scalp massage and uh, from what i got it's not only for promoting hair growth it can also help in thickening your hair it's just that you have to be consistent you can do it without oil you can do it with oil but it works faster with oil and you should do this in the evening when it's like 30 minutes to an hour before heading to bed okay your body is going to rest so you really need that scalp massage you can do this by yourself or you can tell someone to do this for you then for the time frame you can do this for three to five minutes if you have enough time by your side you can do this for 10 minutes and you're good to go okay so i'm done massaging my scalp and i'm going to put my hair together and uh, use my hair bonnets before heading to bed those of you that are still using cutting pillowcase or cutting um cap something that will suck out moisture and leave your hair dry please let that go so after 30 minutes to an hour i'll wear my hair bonnet i have two hair bonnets i wear my hair bonnet then head to bed if you're new please check the description box for how you can make your own hair coat oil hair mist and um yeah moisturizing leave-in conditioner i will create a video of how to make the hair growth butter we're out of hair growth butter that's why it's not see me putting the hair growth butter so stay tuned i'll create a video of how to make your own hair growth butter in the comfort of your home and i also sell the hair growth butter so if you are within nigeria any part of the country just let me know and even outside the country let me know in the comment section or via core crown and uh, the brand of culture and i'll get back to you as soon as possible so thank you all for watching and i hope you have learned something from today's video see you in my next upload bye